it kind of just dawned on me that there might be another option in terms of getting this length that, that's required um, for this cherry switch to get this dowel uh, instead of going through everything that I just went through um, it's a possibility that you could just take a piece of dowel I think that this is I don't know what the what the size of this is uh, it looks like it's just a little bit big. Well, it looks like it's um, a little short of five sixteenths. And it's definitely bigger than a quarter. Uh, I don't get the, the micrometer on it to find out exactly how big it is, but it looks like it's five sixteenths with this cheap ruler. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file off file off this nub right here um, and then drill it put a put a hole in here for a pin and then get a piece of dowel doweling um, and then put a hole in it and just add a piece of add a piece of doweling that's long enough to give me this length that I need here it won't have the fancy little end there. I'll just round the top of it. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, I don't know if I'm just really lucky or what, but uh, I happen to find this white plastic hanger. Um, and I cut out a little section which I'm going to use for the, for the dowel for, for this. Uh, what's kind of interesting is that because of the way that this thing is evidently built, it actually has a hole in one end already and no hole end on the other. So uh, it may make my job a little bit easier. It's going to have to be shaped down. I'll shape it down on a uh, on a belt sander so that it's the same diameter as the uh, same diameter as the original. But it's not that far off. Uh, should be fairly easy. So as it turns out, uh, this piece, what uh, the button itself is exactly five sixteenths. I mean, and this surprisingly on the on the narrowest part because it's not perfectly it wasn't perfectly round. But you can see that it's not perfectly round here. Let's see, that's not perfectly round, but in the narrowest part. It's actually five sixteenths, so um, I just went ahead and round trued it up a little bit, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and figure out what the how much extra I have to add, how much extra I have to add here to get this to be the same length as that. Okay, so uh, so I got this fashioned down, and I found a bamboo rod, um, which uh, surprisingly was just a little bit bigger than the hole that was in the in that which I showed you earlier. So I just reamed it out a little bit and got it so that it's nice and tight in there. And now I need to drill the corresponding hole. In this piece, looks like I'll drill it in about, uh, oh, probably around a quarter of an inch. Well, it's certainly not perfect, but uh, it's certainly functional.
Here's the finished product. Here's the original, the original plunger. Actually, this one, when I put it back together, this one snapped back together very good, very well, and it's not going to need any glue uh, to hold it together. I found out that when I open it, I should open it on this side with the one connection because there's only it only has to overcome the pressure of one of these hooks rather than opening it on this side which of course would require uh, getting over two hooks. So, so I opened it from this end and I closed it from this end. And everything went a lot smoother.